New from the T-Rex Custom Shop, the Precision Compressor Limiter. Meticulously modeled from a British hardware unit that's been a favorite of producers and engineers since it was released in the 70s. The original unit is best known as a bus compressor, but its thick and round sound can also be applied in other applications, such as on a drum bus. In this video, I'll show you various examples of the T-Rex Precision Compressor Limiter in action and let you take a listen to the sound it imparts on the tracks you apply it to. A quick look at the interface shows you that, like the original, the T-Rex version has a relatively simple control set, with the compressor and limiter sections separate and individually switchable in and out of the circuit. From a signal flow standpoint, the incoming audio goes through the compressor section first, then into the limiter section, and then to the output. The output level coming out of the compressor, which can be controlled with the makeup gain, affects the degree of limiting that's applied. So here in this first example, I'm using the precision compressor limiter on the master bus of this rock track. This is an ideal use of the plugin. As you can see, both the compressor and limiter sections are on. With this setting, the compressor section is taking care of the overall leveling with a transparent gentle action, while the limiter section is catching the peaks more aggressively, adding some breathing, which gives some additional sonic excitement to a rock mix like this. Now for comparison, here's the track with the plug-in bypass. Now it's back on. Notice the pleasing change to the tone. It feels bigger, thicker, and more cohesive. The diodes network and transformer-based signal path of the original unit had a distinctive effect on the sound of the compressor, and our model accurately reproduces that circuitry and that sound. Okay, next, I've got a bluesy track in which I'm gonna use the precision compressor limiter on the drum kit, which is all on one stereo track, so the effect is the same as if it was on a drum sub where a multi-track kit was being bust. So let's listen to the drums soloed. This time I'm using the compressor. The limiter is switched out of the circuit. I've got a moderate two to one ratio set, but with the threshold and input set as they are, I'm getting quite a bit of compression. Okay, I'll turn off the compressor for comparison. Now back on. Much more lively, almost roomier sound with the compressor on. And now let's listen in context of the track. Even with all of the compression on the drums, they don't sound squashed. The fixed one millisecond attack time of the compressor brings out the transients and makes the pieces in the kit sound bigger and more present and enhances the room sound a bit. Finally, a stereo mix of an EDM track. I'm using the precision compressor limiter to add some additional punch without squashing the track too much. I've got the ratio maxed out, the limiter off, and a fast recovery time set. I'll switch off the compressor. Now it's back on. As you can hear, the track is thicker and more lively sounding with very slight pumping but it's not overly distorted thanks to the gentle character of this compressor. The T-Rax CS Precision Compressor Limiter is available now in the T-Rax Custom Shop from IK Multimedia.